Greetings. Welcome. This is Queen L from Queen L79. I'm so excited you're joining me today. If you are new to my channel, I definitely like to welcome you and um, let's get started. So we will be discussing some of the planetary transits that are taking place this week. On Tuesday, April 14th, we have a quarter moon. It's the last quarter moon of the lunar cycle for this month. And um, what that signifies is the need to release or let go of anything that you feel has been um, holding you back um, thus far since the last new moon, um, also since the um, full moon that occurred last week. So if you feel like anything is um, lingering or um, holding you back, the last quarter moon is the time to release those things. Then Friday, April 17th, Saturn will be um, quincunx or in conjunct to true node. So um, stay tuned and I'd love to tell you all about that. Now, um, we're all familiar with the planet Saturn. Now, um, and I have my planner here always. Um, so if you see me looking over, I'm just looking at the notes that I took just to keep me on track with this video. So um, Saturn represents our personal responsibilities um, and also the rules that we um, abide by or develop for ourselves over time. Okay, so that's what Saturn represents for us. Now the term quincunx, it's a geometrical term. Um, it has to do with um, the conjunction of five points. And um, if you were to have your um, birth chart or natal chart pulled, um, there are various free resources online so that you could um, pull your chart and um, learn all about all of the different um, relationships between the planets in your chart, um, as well as the 12 houses of the chart. Um, now, if you would like a more in-depth um, breakdown and um, an analysis of your chart, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I do provide that service, and um, that service is available via my Facebook page. That's Queen L79, spelled just like my YouTube channel. Now, um, with regard to quincunx or um, in conjunct, so those terms um, are interchangeable. That means that whatever the planet is, um, there it's it's about the relationship between the planets. So there are several different um, ways that the planets relate to each other in our charts, and um, they um, can work together. Sometimes they don't work together. Sometimes they clash, just depending on the location of where they are in your chart. So the term um, in conjunct or quincunx, that means that the um, the planets that we're referring to, when they have that type of relationship, that means that they don't see eye to eye. And so um, it's not so much a direct clash against each other, but with them not seeing eye to eye, um, we have trouble in those areas um, as far as working together or finding um, a sense of unity or synchronicity between those two, um, what those two planets represent. So like I said, Saturn represents your um, personal rules or responsibility that you have, um, that you develop over time in your life. So um, anything that Saturn is in conjunct or quincunx with, it will, um, you'll find a bit of, um, a bit of difficulty in um, either, um, finding some sort of um, synergy between those personal rules that you have developed um, based off of whatever that planet represents that's in conjunct with Saturn. So in this case, it's true node or north node. And um, like I was saying, it has to do with the moon's orbit in relation to the Earth's orbit around the sun. So let's say this is the sun. We have Earth orbiting around the sun. And then moon has its own orbit. You know, let's say the moon is going like this while Earth is going like this, okay? So if you're picturing Earth going around like this, well, since the moon is going around like this, the moon is crossing Earth um, through that orbit that Earth has going around the sun. It's crossing it in two points. 
Okay. And so if you picture a sphere, um, it will touch on one end and the other. Now, um, those two points where the moon's orbit crosses, um, pass with the Earth's orbit around the sun, those are called the nodes. And there's um, the north node and the south node, just based off of um, the location of where those orbits intersect. Now, the north node or true node, that represents your karma. It represents the lessons that you must learn um, in this current present life. OK, so um, they're typically um, hard learned lessons. They're um, essentially um, not necessarily your true purpose or your calling, but they are um, what you must um, work through, the lessons you must work through um, during this lifetime. So there will be um, this in conjunction relationship between Saturn and True Node um, coming up Friday. And so what that means is, I'm just checking my notes. So Saturn will be um, in Capricorn. Now Capricorn represents um, hardworking, responsibility, tenacity, um, similar traits to Saturn. So um, we're pretty much in sync there. True node will be in Cancer. Now, Cancer is um, known to be um, very sensitive. It's a it's a water sign, very emotional, um, also intuitive, um, very loyal. Now, also I would say because Saturn is quincunx to um, True Node and not necessarily um, in in alignment with it because they they will have um, an issue seeing eye to eye. So we think about those two areas, what they represent. So um, there will be a sense of stubbornness that will take place. Um, there will be um, some rigidity. And I feel that it's no coincidence that this coincides with that last quarter moon. So we know that that represents releasing, the need to release and let go of some things. So if there's a need to let go of some things, then um, this is one of those things to let go of, that rigidity, that um, stubbornness. And so that's where your um, with Saturn, your personal rules and what you stand by, how you operate in life, um, based off of, you know, there there's just a clash between that and um, your karma, the lessons that you have to learn in this lifetime. So it's important in order to um, actually learn from those lessons and not feel like, you know, there's history repeating itself or like you have a constant sense of Groundhog's Day or deja vu. It's important to um, just take a step back and to figure out what do I need to learn from this situation? That's something that I try to do. Um, I will be honest with you that um, there are certain areas of my life where sometimes I find myself reliving certain things. Um, and you will feel like sometimes, you know, just baffled, like, why am I going through the same thing over and over again? And it's important to know that there is a lesson to be learned in all things. And so that's the question to ask. Ask the spirit guides, ask the creator, ask your ancestors. Um, I usually tap into those things from a spiritual perspective during my meditation. Um, I would just ask the question, you know, sometimes we don't ask the questions because we honestly um, don't know you know, if we really want to hear the answer or if we're ready to do the work that's necessary to see the growth that we need to see in order to evolve and to progress in life. So it's really important to ask those tough questions. Um, it's all about reflection. It's all about um, just getting yourself in a better place and becoming the best um, version of yourself. And, you know, like I said in um, a previous video, you must take the bad with the good. Um, we're very multifaceted, so it's not necessarily to shun ourselves or to um, make ourselves feel bad or um, put ourselves down for um, 
any of the lessons that we are in need of learning from, um, everyone has lessons that they need to learn from. It's just a matter of identifying what those lessons are and um, those areas of opportunity and growth and actually allowing yourself, giving yourself the freedom and the room to grow from those things. Because when we're so rigid and we're so stuck in our ways and um, narrow minded, then you're not allowing yourself the freedom and the room to grow into who you're really meant to be. OK, so um, that is what is going on this week. I do want to, as I typically do, um, pull some cards just to get us um, a bit more clarity and a bit more guidance from the spirit guides um, with regard to how we can handle this transition and um, any type of um, rigidity or the stubbornness that I mentioned that comes along with um, that in conjunct or um, quincunx relationship between Saturn and true node. Okay. So um, the first card will be um, representing what we really need to work on um, with regard to this planetary transit that's coming up this week. Okay. So we have the 10 of cups. Now, the Ten of Cups, um, I believe I pulled this card for a personal reading um, for myself that I did um, mm, maybe a couple of days ago. Now, the Ten of Cups, it's a very pleasant card. It's so happy. It's full of life, full of love. The rainbow, to me, represents... Um, it just represents happiness. It represents joy on the horizon, like literal joy on the horizon. And um, as you see, the family is unified. You see the cups and the cups, as I've stated before, um, they represent our emotions. They represent um, love and joy. And because there are 10 of the cups, that is um, an abundance of these qualities. And so um, it's important to embrace this. So even when we're feeling, you know, kind of like in conflict with ourselves, and that happens sometimes, um, sometimes we're battling our own mind, our own will, our own um, expectations of ourselves um, and of others. It's important to just allow love to shine through. I did a card reading today. So I do daily card pulls and um, post them on Instagram as well as Facebook. And so um, my Instagram is queen underscore L underscore seven nine. And um, I said that it's important to love on yourself, allow love to help you to heal, allow love to help you to um, get through situations. And remember, we're not tr trying to get over situations. We want to get through the situations. We want to move through, work through situations. So it's important to um, lead with love. And so that's something that we need to focus on during this um, upcoming planetary transit, okay? Now, here's an obstacle with regard to this transit. Okay, so King of Pentacles. Now, I love this card. King of Pentacles, it um, represents being, you know, the master. You know your work. You know your craft. You know, um, I mean, you just have a sense of leadership and power. Now, the way that this is an obstacle, though, is this goes back to that rigidity. It goes back to that stubbornness. So um, sometimes we feel like I know what I know. And, you know, you're not necessarily a know it all, but because you um, you exude and you embody that confidence and, you know, you know, I got this. Sometimes it's hard to allow room for growth and we can always grow. There is no ceiling or no cap on um, knowledge, on um, wealth, on prosperity, on um, abundance. You can always learn from things. You can learn from people. You can learn from situations. Um, you can learn from life. You can learn from yourself. So allow yourself the room and the ability to actually learn something else and to grow and to expand and not to be so stuck in your ways that you're like, you know, I got this or I've already made it to this point. I don't need to hear from anyone else or I don't need to listen or anything like that. Don't do that. Definitely um, release those emotions this week and allow yourself the room and the ability to grow. OK, it's like loosen up. You know, you can always, um, you know, learn another thing or two. OK, now this is a card that will help us to um, get past this obstacle. 
the Six of Cups. Now, this card I actually pulled this morning, and the Six of Cups, I love, first, I love this card. So what I said in my um, pull today was that, um, first, you know, the Cups represent your emotions, and um, there are six of them. But just looking at the um, illustrator for this um, Modern Witch Tarot deck, I love how, um, in my opinion, just based off of the other card that I pulled along with this one today, it represented um, me talking to myself, me um, just reflecting on my youth and um, offering love to my child, my inner child. And um, that had to do with the um, loving yourself through any type of pain or any type of turmoil that you've experienced or that you're currently experiencing. Now, for this to be a way to get past this obstacle, like I said, you need to allow yourself the room to grow. So with regard to this card relating to this specific spread, this has to do with tapping into that inner child. You know, when we feel like we're, you know, we're either used to being the boss of everything or we are, um, we just feel like we are on top of our game. Sometimes, you know, it's hard to actually um, put things into perspective and to realize that, you know, there's still that inner child within you that wants to learn, that wants to grow, that has needs. You know, you might be so used to meeting everyone else's needs or even meeting all of your own needs, but it's important to know that there are still other needs. They're not necessarily as tangible or monetary. They may be um, emotional needs. And like in this case, this is um, the adult in the situation is offering love, offering joy, offering um, that emotional stability to the youthful um, image that's in the, the um, on the card. So it's important to know that, you know, you may have needs that are not being met or that are not being um, supported right now, but it's OK for you to do that for yourself. You know, sometimes we seek, you know, from outside of us when everything we need is within us. So tap into self, tap into your intuition and um, seek guidance from the, um, the spirit guides, from um, your ancestral realm, whomever you feel is source for you. Seek all of that from within. Um, something that I've started doing in my meditation daily is um, reflecting on all of my chakras the seven chakras during my meditation. Um, I will do a video. I've said that before, but I will do a video on the chakras and um, how I use them every day. And um, it's just kind of touching on them, just kind of a self check every day um, when I meditate just to think about and reflect on each of my seven chakras and um, what I'm feeling about each one or how I feel um, I can um, work on opening up each one if there is some type of blockage. Um, so again, it's just a self-check. It's just a gauge for myself. But it's important to know that, you know, while you may feel on top of things from um, the outward appearance, there are some inner needs that you have that need to be met. And you can give them to yourself, okay? Love on yourself. Now, the final card will be the outcome. If we actually pay attention to this, if we actually take a step back and think before we allow ourselves to be so just, you know, again, rigid and in our way of thinking, if we allow ourselves to open up and to actually, um, through love, allow ourselves to, you know, have that room to grow and to learn those lessons that we need to learn through um, this planetary transit, then let's see um, what the outcome will be. Ooh, so five of wands. Now, five of wands, this card, so uh, I love this card, and I, I believe I may have pulled it on a video before, but um, let me just say, so I love the vivid imagery in the Modern Witch Tarot deck, but this card um, in particular, um, I love because, so the wands represent our um, creativity. They represent our um, ambition, our passion. And these, um, these ladies, they look like ninjas and they are in battle with each other. Now, this card can typically symbolize conflict, but what I feel from this card as a way of um, the outcome, if we 
follow along with what I'm saying that the spirit guides are leading us to do um, with regard to this planetary transit is it will equip you to be able to fight the fight that you, you need to fight, basically. That was a lot of words. But um, it will just make you better prepared from um, a creative perspective, from um, a skill level. It will um, equip you with the emotional tools, the wherewithal to be able to, um, to deal with or meet any type of conflict, any type of opposition, face on. I'm someone who has always been, um, I self-proclaim myself as someone who um, avoids conflict. I would just say, no, I avoid conflict. I don't I don't like, you know, having any type of confrontation with anyone. But that's not necessarily the best thing. Um, I'm a Pisces and um, we are, you know, the lovers and very sensitive um, sign of the zodiac and I'm very um, empathic. And so, it's important to, you know, just find some type of um, joy and unity in most all situations. But sometimes you just have to stand up for yourself and you have to fight. And obviously, I mean, I'm not speaking about a physical fight, but um, most of the time a spiritual fight is far more serious and it's far more effective because those are the battles that um, are not as easily won. They're the ones that are not um, as visible or as uh, much in the forefront as other fights when you can see them in front of you. So um, you need to tap into self. You need to um, not feel like you're so you know, far removed from learning that you don't allow yourself the room to grow and to learn. And also you need to um, love on yourself, give yourself some love. And there are many ways to do that. Um, like I said, I do that through meditation, through um, taking care of yourself, through the things that you consume, um, through um, even something as simple as bathing. So um, a lot of people will speak of spiritual baths, um, I'm someone who loves showers and just the steam. I just feel um, that it just, along with opening my pores, that it just kind of opens me up from a spiritual standpoint and an emotional standpoint. And I just feel ready to receive whatever the spirit guides have for me. So just know that if you um, do the things that I'm saying today that the spirit guides led me to tell you that um, this will make you more equipped to deal with any type of conflict in your life, any type of um, opposition that you feel you're being faced with. Just know that, you know, again, lead with love. Don't always, um, you know, feel like you have to meet something with, you know, um, brute force or like you're running into a brick wall. Um, I've said it recently, sweet is the way, and it really is. So um, that's it for today. Um, I will be back again very soon. I thank you all so much for joining me again. This is Queen L. Um, Ashe. If you need anything from me or um, need any guidance or have any requests, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, okay? I love you. Blessings.